Imagine a journey that's decided by every bet you place. We got this. Eating, drinking, sleeping and travelling all come down to the way you play. Oh, it's coach. Is that coach? I'm going to challenge you. He said it's possible. Teams do come back. It can be the difference between a luxury suite or a crowded hostel. Six games, six cities. This is Bet and Breakfast. The rules are simple. The team gets 1,000 euros to bet with and a handful of experts to help them on their journey to place the perfect bet. The amount of funds available will determine how well they travel. So the question remains, will their bets lead them off the beaten track or will it be smooth sailing through Europe? Our brave and confident contestants are Daniel Gonthier, famous gamer and YouTuber, and Andrew Henderson, current and five-time world champion football freestyler. So, six different cities, man. No. It's going to be pretty hectic. Yes, it's going to be an adventure. As long as the weather stays like this, anyway. I don't think it's going to change. It's only going to get better. Oh, man. I'm oh. excited. For oh. Trust me, we got this. Oh. Our adventure <laughs> begins in Rome. Famous for Eros Ramazzotti and very, very old stone buildings. Rome is also the proud mother to AS Roma, the team that will face Barcelona in this knockout stage match. Where are we going to stay? We haven't even thought that where we're going to stay. <laughs> well, let's go and have a look for the hotel at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to. Me too. I've got a phone call. Okay. Who's that? Oh, it's Coach. Is that Coach? It's Coach. All right. It's Coach. We're let's to see what he's got to say. We're going to have to take this already. Let's see. <laughs> Didier Drogba is known for his passion on the pitch. Losing has never been an option, so they better adopt his winning mentality when they make their bets. I'll be your coach the next few months. I'm going to take your name now. You go, Drogba. <laughs> I can live with that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and Andrew, your name is, of course, Andrew Drogba. <laughs> Andrew Drogba, OK, yeah. And the Drogba team never lose. Guys, it's not a luxury trip. This is bed and breakfast. Drogba and Andrew Drogba. We got this. <laughs> this is so nice, isn't it? Sometimes I've managed to go on all of my feet. <laughs> hey, you've had it on your nose for the last five minutes. Is it, is it still there? Yeah, no. Oh. I got a text message, bro. Yeah? Soft coach, man. Now you'll meet with former world champion and European Cup winner, Antonio Cabrini. Uh-huh. If anyone has a unique insight for knockout stage matches, it will be him. You'll meet him at a restaurant with lots of football history. I'll send you the location. And there's a picture of him as well. That's him at the World Cup. Oh, you know my that. days, man. That's mad thing. Yeah, man, that is crazy. Wow. With a record of winning nearly everything, Cabrini will help them understand the game in greater depth with stats and stories for tomorrow's game. Is there even a chance for Roma to turn this around? Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Andrew and Daniel, I'm here to help you. Tomorrow night there's a very important game. Roma-Barcellona, and it's a game of elimination. A situation like this has never happened. It happened in the 84-85 Cup of the Champions, always 3-0 at Torino, and the return to Bordeaux, a dramatic game of difficult, the Bordeaux wins 3-0, and it's a great game for Roma. But with that goal we've made at Torino, the Juve qualifies for the final of the Cup of the Champions. So has any team overcome a team of Roma 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 Dunque, mi sembra, mi sembra, mi sembra che sia successo due volte nella storia della Champions League. Nel 2004 eh, la Corugna, il Deportivo La Corugna che elimina il Milan e poi nel 2017, cioè l'anno scorso, il Barcellona contro il Parigi. Va bene, ok. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, man. Nice one. Ok. Day one in Rome has come to an end. And after meeting Cabrini, the team has more of an insight for their bets. We just got a text message, bro. Yeah? Yeah. Coach. Yeah. Right, so we're saying, you better be sleeping right now. Big day tomorrow, guys. Sleep tight. 
Sleep tight from Coach Drogba. Eh? Yeah, Just text him back saying Andrew's fast asleep. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Andrew's all out. He's bored out for the day. His eyes are shut. You know. Like, what a madness, bro, man. Yeah. I mean, we met the famous Cabrini. We bro. met Cabrini today. He's such a good guy as well. Such a nice guy. So humble. What he told us today about like because Roma, uh, Barcelona being four one up. Yeah. He said it's possible teams do come back. Look at Barcelona. They came back. Will it happen? Will it happen? Game day has finally arrived, and there are a lot of fallacies when it comes to betting. Time for some betting psychology with neuroscientist and physician Katerina Gospic. This is where the guys will learn more about decision making and the bandwagon effect. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a bet smile. It's going to be a tough game for Roma to, to pull, up, pull it off, but pretty much impossible, really. Oh, mate. Text message coming in. Oh, it's from Coach Drogba. What's his name? OK, he's saying, to become a better player, you need to understand the mind games of betting. I've arranged a telephone meeting with Katerina Gospic. She will help you understand how your brain works so you can make better bets. Listen carefully to her. Hi, guys. I hope Rome is treating you well. As one of Sweden's foremost experts on cognitive neuroscience, scientist and author Katarina Gospic is a valuable source of information when it comes to decision making. So let's talk about the bandwagon effect. The bandwagon effect is related to peer pressure. And if we look into what happens in the brain when we experience peer pressure, it's all about the reward signal that comes from stratum, which is the brain's reward structure. So when we tag along with an opinion, we get the reward signal from stratum and we feel like, woohoo, the group loves me. And that's the reason why we like to follow the crowd. You need to think about, are you betting for a team because you're following the peer pressure or do you really think that your team will win? You can't really go with your heart in betting, so I mean, you've got to go with your brain and what you actually genuinely think, not, yeah, what, you hope, right not what you're hoping for. Because we're going to be surrounded by like everyone going nuts. Roma, Roma! Yeah, you but they're, I mean? we they're can't all feeling in. positive, you know, about their, their team, so... But are we feeling positive? That's the thing, that's what I'm saying. To really make sure the guys don't fall for peer pressure, Drogba has sent the guys to meet betting expert Anthony Cousins for some last minute advice before kickoff. There's a dude, there's a random dude just stood with a laptop by there. You see him? Is that it? Stood behind that tree. Yeah. That's got to be that's our guy. Him, yeah? It's got to be him, maybe. Is that our guy? Yeah, that's our guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, nice to, to meet you, bro. Have nice you been enjoying you. yourself? Nice to meet you. Yes. I'm here to help you extend your game. I've right. got a bunch of insights, statistics, data. I'm going to challenge you, give you some information, help you think beyond just the match odds and what else is out there, because there's a wealth of betting opportunities for you. How does that sound? Sounds great, man. Sounds Excellent. Yeah. We're Excellent. looking forward to this. I'm here to help you win more money, yep. but I'm not going to give you tips. That's cheap. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> something. It can't, can't be do something. that for you, I'm afraid. <laughs> can't do it. But I want to know, what have you been thinking so far? What, you know, you've been looking at some stuff. Yeah. What direction are you going? And is there anything that's jumping out for you? If Roma get a goal, it's definitely going to throw a big spanner into the mix, isn't it, if you think about it? Because yeah. then Barcelona are going to be slightly on the back foot because they know they can't go flooding forward because mm. if they concede another, there's only one goal in it. So, yeah. I don't... It's tricky. Well, I, I think that um, Roma are going to go all in. They have to. Mm -hmm. um, which means that... Yeah, and they're at home, so that they're going to go for it. It makes sense that there's going to be goals, so we're, mm -hmm. that's the route we're going to look to go to. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, both teams to score this is a great one. You're not having to think too much yeah. if, you, if, you're, if you're confident on that. Otherwise, look at the over under goal markets or look at yeah, how many goals will the home team score, how many teams goals will the away team score. Little, little question for you guys okay. very quickly now. Top Barcelona scorer so far in the Champions League this season, do you Messi. know? Messi. Messi. Messi's got to be Messi. Of course. Messi's Messi. Correct. Who else? Okay, Who else? I thought it was a trick question. Was like, yeah, <laughs> Who else? Messi. Second highest scorer. Um, Oh, that's a tough one, actually. I, I don't know. I don't, we don't actually know. Probably... Uh, I can't. I, it's definitely not Suarez. This was the trick question. This yeah. is Own goals. Oh, Five yeah. own goals. Two in the first leg. Yeah. There's some really interesting side bets and stat bets as well. So, Roma so far in the Champions League, they've had 51% ball possession. 
Now in the first leg, Barcelona won 4-1. So you'd think, oh, they'd have had really high ball position. It was 55%. So not as big as you might think. Roma are quite good at keeping the ball. And if the game plan goes as you may think, with Roma having wave after yeah. wave of attack and really having to dominate, it's probably quite a good bet. There's an over underline of 57 and a half percent on Barcelona. But there is value out there and there are bets to be had. There's over 450 different markets tonight. And if you do your research, you're gonna find something. You can make money yeah. off of this. I like, I like that. I it's like positive. That. I like that. Positive PMA. Thinking, it's, it's living positive. Living positive. Living positive. Living See, I'm going to have to be positive with yeah. you guys. It's the only way we're going to get any money. We're going to have to go somewhere. <laughs> so, great to meet you. Good luck. Bet responsibly. I don't want him going all in and then you <laughs> haven't got anything got to eat for the next him. week. Don't worry. Trust me, we, we got this. We I'm glad someone's got control yeah. of him because I don't think I have. Awesome. Bet responsibly. Have a great night. Nice to meet you, bro. With own goals and possession stats a factor, have the guys even listened to Anthony and Cabrini? I like the percentages, because that's given us an insight. We can just obviously go, I'm the kind of guy who's going to go flat out. Yeah. But we've got to think about the percentages before we actually go and do stupid Definitely betting. Definitely given us a lot more to think about. We need to place the full-time um, result before, before, the match the, before the match starts. I know, so, I know. What are you thinking? Barcelona win. We've got to go Barcelona got to win, bro. Barcelona it has to win. be, has to be. And uh, goals? There's going to be a lot of goals. A Barcelona win with a lot of goals, and we're laughing all the way to the bank, yeah. I think. We're going to go, are we sticking with that? Barcelona win. This is a classic example of the bandwagon effect. It's time. Big game, Big bro. Time. Big game, bro. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. So Barcelona. Yes. We got our Barcelona back. That's it. Stick the corners on as well, man. Right. What do you think the correct score is going to be? Three two, three two, Barcelona. Let's go. Let's go. One, three two. Uh... 3-2 Barcelona, Barcelona full, yeah. full time, nice one. Right, that's 10 to 1, that is, so that's decent. Yeah. After spending 825 euros, the guys find themselves with a lot of money on the line. They finally decide to hold off and relax uh, for and now. to come in for us, because otherwise we're going to look like losers. Let's, and we're going to be on the streets. Let's bro. see if we can justify our actions, find value in what we're doing. You know, that's, that's what it's all about. At half time, all the bets are still alive, but things aren't looking good. Accommodation in Stockholm is at stake. They need a turnaround if their fortunes are to change. Turn about, turn about. Oh my God. It's a penalty for Roma. All they need is for Jekko to score to win on two bets. Jekko gives the penalty to De Rossi. Well, still no luck for the boys. We need, we need this money to get to Stockholm. Exactly, I don't want to hitchhike to Stockholm. So let's be responsible and let's... And uh, let's just stop betting now, yeah, before it gets out of control. Because I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's been nothing for us. It's we might not even make it to Stockholm. We will get to Stockholm if we stop Hopefully. The team has finally taken a responsible decision and decide to stop betting before losing all of their money. <laughs> It's not, you know. It's not looking good at all, bro. Um, man. It's blue. 800. 800. And won nothing. I know, man. It's not been our day. How you won thing? We should have listened to the expert. Yeah, of course. But we didn't sorry. listen to a thing we were told. We just went boom, boom, boom. He sold us to do one thing, we did the complete opposite. At least we know what not to do next time. The game has ended. 
Unfortunately for Gantz and Andrew Drogba, they jumped on the bandwagon and decided to bet on Barcelona as winners. They were very close with their over 9.5 corners bet, Dzeko as next goal scorer and Dzeko to score twice, close but no cigar. In total, the trip to Rome led to a loss of 875 euros. Maybe next time they'll listen to the experts and not popular opinion. Hi. Yo. Good. Mate, it's Gabriel. Oh, oh, sick. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, it's good. How are you? Good. Now listen, I had a call from your coach, DJ. So to make you better, you have to raise the stakes. Okay. Okay. So he asked me to gather a team on my own. Okay. okay. So in Stockholm, you're going to have a little bit of competition, right? Easy. Light work. Yeah, okay. So I'll send you information <laughs> about the challenges soon. All right. Enjoy your night, bro. Thank you. In a bit, man. Peace. Peace. Peace out. Can't believe it, man. We have absolutely, well and truly buffed it. Well... Well, at least we know it can't get much worse. Can it? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right, it can't. Oh! On to the next one, I think, mate. What will the consequences be in Stockholm? Can they even afford a place to stay? And who has Jibril Cissé sent to challenge the guys? Find out in the next episode of Bet and Breakfast. Please gamble responsibly.